In what Kurt's saying is one of the things that I think is fascinating about George. In many ways, he's an egoless artist. He really, whether it was as an artist or as a writer, but as a creative person, he always loved the performance. He loved the fact that he was reaching people. He loved the fact that people were enjoying it. And he loved putting as much as he possibly could, what Mark was talking about in terms of that Brave and Bold cover. You know, most of us who are proud of our work want to make sure we're delivering fair value, right? We want to, we want to entertain where we're supposed to. We put, our, we put ourselves into the work, but he, it, what, for him, it was, what is the most I can possibly do with this? And whether that was the extra 4,000 characters or the kind of detail Peter was talking about in terms of the trophy room, or can I please have the most difficult assignment in the place? I mean, when, when Dick Dillon suddenly passed on just in the middle of doing Justice League after decades, you know, George would have killed anyone else who stood in his way of doing it because this was a chance to take on as big and complex an assignment as there, there was in the DC universe. Oh, my God.